Now, let's have a look at the third use case. So if you look at the third use case, I was talking about the remote sites, I was talking about the data center, but I was also talking about virtual environments. So let's have a look at the virtual environments. If you look at a virtual environment, um, and let's take the ESX of VMware as an example, you actually share all these resources across multiple VMware guests. Now, next to the um, remote sites, you know, where the requirement is to save a lot of network, you know, to, to achieve a lot of network savings and to achieve a lot of storage savings, now all of a sudden with, you know, this new virtualized uh, environment approach, you have a lot of other resources that are shared where we also should uh, optimize in. So if you look at PureDisk, it, it does not only optimize your storage, it does not only optimize your, your network, but it, uh, network traffic, but it also optimizes your, um, your, your CPU utilization, CPU utilization, memory utilization, and you know, IO even, IO utilization. So if you look at the ESX environment, what you can do with PureDisk is you can install those PureDisk clients uh, or those PureDisk agents, sorry, in the VMware guest and then dedupe at the guest level and send this over to the data center as well. Or you can actually send it to a local PureDisk server that is just installed in, in a VMware guest as well. You know, again, same principle. Um, the, 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 the agents are distributed, deployed on the VMware guests, are, <clears throat> are running in the VMware guest. But the benefit is now that you do not only have storage savings, and because on a daily basis you can have 99% storage savings, you can go up to 70% um, memory savings. So not only do you have now uh, storage savings, but also memory savings and also um, CPU savings. Now, on the CPU side, it may be you know, surprising that um, deduplication technologies will save you on the CPU cycles. And the main reason is because you increase a lot of your, the, the backup speed is, is increased. And the main reason is because by, by doing a daily full, because if you look at the pure disk agent, what is the biggest benefit? The biggest benefit is that it's using deduplication. Now, this deduplication will allow you to do a full backup every single day without having to transfer a, a lot of data. So if you do a daily backup and it's a daily full every single day, but you only send over 1% of data instead of 10% or even 100% if you do a full, that will not only save you a lot of storage, it will also save you a lot of uh, network traffic, and it will also save you a lot of CPU cycles. Because on the CPU side, instead of just performing um, at a 15%, let's say you're, a you're, you're running a traditional net backup client, it's, let's say it's running at 10% CPU um, for half an hour to back up all that data. <clears throat> now, with uh, PureDisk, we can we will uh, run at 15%, for example, but we will only run for maybe five minutes. So the overall CPU utilization is less, and that's basically why your, your backup, um, your overall um, backup job is, is much faster. It's, it's, it's basically quicker, and, and because of that, you have a lot of savings on the CPU side, a lot of savings on the memory side, and a lot of savings on the I.O. side. Now, next to all these um, savings that you can get out of PureDisk, we also have made a lot of improvements to our latest code. And so one of them is uh, multi-stream backup and multi-stream restore. Uh, and then if you look at a traditional backup client, it, and you would, let's say you're backup a data selection, you back up a, a set of 100 gigabytes of data. Um, you can back it up in one single stream, but now with the latest version, you can actually back it up with a couple of streams. You can enable um, up to 32 streams. And we have noticed that this is such a strong feature um, as it can basically reach the limitations of that, cl that individual client. You can reach the, uh, the maximum read speed on the client and that will give you the highest throughput that you can actually get even if you have uh, you know, the fastest network connection between your client and your data and your pure disk server, um, you still are bounded to the client's limitations. Um, this multi-streaming will not only help you to overcome these issues, but it will also help you to overcome the high latency that we've noticed in a lot of our customer environments, where you have you know, those smaller remote sites that are out there 
and that are connected over very slow connections with very bad um, reliability. The other thing we've done is, of course, on the restore side, we also allow you to do multi-stream restores. That means that you as a customer can just enable a single restore, kick it off, and tell uh, NetBack Computerisk to restore that in multiple jobs. Just to, again, speed up the restore speed and, and make sure that you can get the maximum out of your system, that, you know, the maximum that is possible, basically. So you will reach uh, there as well. You will, you will bump into the client's limitations. The other um, benefit, so the other improvement that we've done is on the server side, we have a new storage layout, which is much more faster and is uh, self-healing. It basically will um, clean itself up and it will make sure that um, the empty spaces are reclaimed, that um, you know, there's maintenance done automatically on the file system. All these things are, taking, are taken care of. And then as last, uh, af you know, besides the multi-streaming and the server-side performance improvements, we've also enabled an option now to exclude certain file types. Because if you look at deduplication, it's a very powerful tool and a powerful technology. But even um, with that technology, there's still a certain uh, file types that are not uh, that cannot be deduplicated well. So for example, uh, compressed files, encrypted files, and all these file types, um, as they, you know, you still want to back them up. You still want to dedupe on a file level, but you don't want to dedupe on a block or segment level. Now, Puritas can just easily uh, exclude those files from uh, block or segment level deduplication. We will still do deduplication on the file level, but by skipping the segment file level uh, deduplication, we again improve the backup performance with a, a, a very uh, big amount. Okay, so that, that, that was a little bit the um, you know, summary on, on what the improvements are that we've done in our, next, in our latest release. Uh, next to this, we also have seen a lot of uh, improvements on the export capabilities, which we'll talk about in another session. Now, to take advantage of these features that we discussed today, I would recommend you strongly to uh, upgrade to NetBack Computerisk 6.5, as that is the current release that contains all these nice features. And if you don't, if you're not a customer yet, um, you can easily download the trial version from our website and you can just install it in 15, 20 minutes. Um, and if you don't have physical hardware available, that's not a problem because we also support uh, PureDisk in a VMware guest. So it's easy for you to just test and play around with it. Now, thanks again for joining me today and I hope to see you again in one of the next uh, sessions on that backup.